Fantasy Fanfiction. Homelander is coming, fortunately I am Doomsday Superman. Chapter 31. The alien spaceship forms a wall, outside the dimly lit corridor of the building. What's your name? Meng Tifa looked at the girls of the same age who came out together behind her, and recognized that she was the one who moved the table away to save her. The female examinee said weakly, My name is Bai Xiao Lu, just call me Xiao Lu. Didn't you get hurt just now? It's okay, it's just my arm is bruised. Xiao Lu showed her slender arm, bruises were visible on it, and then asked in a worried voice, Now, the whole building is surrounded, how do we get out of here? Quote, I don't know either, but just follow him. Tifa whispered proudly, following closely behind the boy, she always had a kind of self-confidence in Yi Meng that surpassed her own. In fact, the light in the corridor was very dim, but Yi Meng who led the way was very steady, as if he hadn't been affected. Let's find Pan Hu first, and then find an exit to leave here. Yi Meng suddenly lowered his voice, later, no matter what happens, don't leave my side. Both Tifa and Xiao Lu nodded. The exam floor they were on was the fifth floor, and Pan Hu was in the classroom on the third floor next to the stairs, so he had to walk downstairs along the way. Yi Meng clenched the metal chair legs in his hand, and through the static electricity consciousness, maintained the cameras in the corridors and classrooms to detect the area 10 meters away in advance. The three passed through the corridor on the fifth floor without incident, approaching the stairs. Sudden, Yi Meng's face darkened, he took Tifa and Bai Xiao Lu to squat down, and hid in the stairs on the sixth floor. Hush, his fingers were on his lips. Tifa and Little Lu understood and held their breath. Russell, a slight crawling sound sounded from the stairs below. Unfortunately, the crawling existence kept moving slowly upwards. Then, the three quickly saw it. A shadow of nearly two meters approached continuously. It quietly climbed up the corridor on the fifth floor, protruding a smooth and slender head. The face seemed to have no eyes, and the ferocious molars continuously shed clean water, followed by the torso with protruding exoskeleton. That is, a predator far more terrifying than lions and tigers. Bai Xiao Lu tightly covered her mouth, trembling all over, afraid that she would scream. Fortunately, the alien monster didn't seem to notice the three of them, and was about to turn around and continue to climb the stairs on the fourth floor, a bone tail made of fine steel swirled and raised. And at the moment when the alien looked back, Yi Meng jumped up suddenly violently, and a slightly pointed metal chair stick was directly inserted into the head. The alien let out a miserable scream immediately, and yellow blood burst out from the head at the same time. Yellow blood spilled on the ground, corroding the ground directly. Actually took the initiative. Bai Xiao Lu's face was dull, she didn't expect this at all. Tifa didn't expect Yi Meng to make a move either, but he was stunned for a moment, then immediately got up and kicked the alien's exoskeleton waist, sending the alien flying one meter away. This strength is stronger than Yi Meng. Sizzle. The blood corrodes directly down the iron rod. Yi Meng didn't have any hesitation, he let go of the iron rod on the chair leg, and continued to charge towards the flying alien. The tall and ferocious body of the alien, and the slender and thin body of the young man are not in the same order of magnitude. The back of the alien hit the outer shell of the spaceship, facing the silver-haired boy rushing forward, the inner molars embedded in the front and lower end of the clean skull abruptly ejected forward at an alarming speed. Bai Xiao Lu exclaimed, seeing that Yi Meng was about to be headshot in an instant. But at this time, Yi Meng's body seemed to speed up, and as if he had predicted it in advance, his head quickly shifted to the left, barely avoiding the popped inner molars. The next moment, Yi Meng, who was approaching the alien, swung his right hand with a palm knife, and a bright white edge flashed faintly on his fingernails and fingers. Like an extremely sharp sword. Laugh. Half of the alien's neck was sliced open, yellow blood spurted out, Yi Meng quickly flashed to the side again, and the knife in his hand continued to make up for it. Lulu. The juvenile alien's neck was completely cut open, and the slender head rolled to the ground. The yellow blood was like strong acid, completely corroding and sinking the floor it was on. Hoo hoo. Get it all done. Yi Meng was panting heavily, his school uniform was already wet with sweat, and his temples were slightly hot. This is his first actual fight against reality's invasion of creation, and it doesn't look so easy to win. If you are not familiar with the predation skills of creatures like aliens, 
You know that although the opponent has no eyes, they will perceive the prey in a way similar to heat induction, and it is better to strike first before the opponent looks back and attacks. If it weren't for the characteristics of artificial intelligence, he could judge the opponent's actions frame by frame through monitoring, and through the quick thinking and analysis of the brain, he could make the body dodge and advance, and he would not make any mistakes like a robot. If it wasn't for Tifa's perfectly coordinated kick, he would always maintain a suppressive offensive advantage, and what he encountered was an alien who hadn't fully grown up yet. If it weren't for the sword incarnation characteristic that he had had a long time ago. Yi Meng felt that maybe it was another result. I am still too weak, especially my physical fitness. Yi Meng sighed secretly. Under the high-speed thinking of artificial intelligence characteristics, he has achieved the perfect extreme operation and won the thrilling victory. Is the alien strong? Individual combat is naturally very strong. It is difficult for 10 adults to kill this creature without weapons. But if there is a submachine gun, an elite soldier can smash this creature directly after overcoming fear and understanding the situation. From this, we can also see the advantages and disadvantages of this creature. It moves quickly and is good at assassination, but its defense is fragile, and it is still within the suppressible range of thermal weapons. Yi Meng's side is still replaying the battle just now, absorbing combat experience, while Bai Shaolu over there is completely dumbfounded. Single-handedly killed a two-meter-tall monster. What kind of man from heaven is this? Bai Shaolu suddenly understood why a girl like Meng Tifa fell in love with her. If it wasn't for the fact that her competitors were too strong, she would have wanted to step in. Dot dot dot. Corridor on the third floor. Pan who sat on the ground in fear and despair. About five meters ahead, an armed detective slowly knelt down and fell to the ground. The back of his head was completely penetrated by the inner molars, and the loaded rifle in his hand fell to the ground. An adult alien over two meters tall stood behind. Looking at the rifle about three meters away from him. A ray of hope flashed in Pan Hu's eyes, but before he stepped forward to pick it up, the blood-stained adult alien had already turned his molars towards him. Pan Hu was completely cold, and his body was so stiff that he couldn't make any movements. But at this time, a water glass suddenly hit the back of the adult alien's head. Pan Hu froze for a moment, and opened his eyes wide to look behind the adult alien. In the dim light, he could faintly see a boy in white. Boss. Pan Hu burst into tears, you run away. Don't talk nonsense, remember the alternating hands we talked about before. Yi Meng walked out of the darkness. At the moment, the adult alien was attracted attention, and rushed towards Yi Meng with a hunting wind. Definitely, remember. Pan Hu gritted his teeth and struggled to stand up. In the narrow corridor, facing the adult alien sprinting towards him at an ever-increasing speed, Yi Meng took a deep breath, and even stepped forward to charge forward. In the eyes of others, this may be no different from sending to death. At the moment of the encounter, Yi Meng even faced adult aliens as a face-to-face -face sliding shovel, please do not imitate. At least, Yi Meng's sliding shovel was calculated after repeated rehearsals of the brain's high-speed thinking, and an on-site judgment made through frame-by-frame -frame observation of the camera in the corridor. So changing someone is an act of death. Yi Meng just happened to pass through the gap between the walking limbs of the adult alien, and rolled to avoid the slap of the bone tail, and made a side-to-side -side exchange with Pan Hu who also stepped forward to pick up the gun. The adult alien still wants to go back and give chase. Come again. Pan Hu's eyes were red, he pulled the trigger, and the muzzle of the rifle burst into flames in the darkness. The steel bullet hit the adult alien's body, and his skin was torn apart immediately, with yellow blood continuously splashing out. The adult alien screamed, turned around and rushed into a hole in the inner ring of the spaceship, and disappeared into the darkness. Pan Hu showed no sign of stopping, as if venting his fear and frustration, he continued to shoot towards the hole. Yi Meng patted the big man on the shoulder, okay, save the bullets, we still have to find the exit. Pan Hu stopped shooting, and hurriedly asked for credit, boss, am I amazing? Yeah, Yi Meng didn't know how to comment. At this time, Tifa and Xiao Lu, who were hiding aside, came out from the corner. Pan Hu was immediately embarrassed, feeling that he must have been seen slumped on the ground just now. Dot dot dot. After finding Pan Hu, Yi Meng and his group managed to get down to the first floor of the teaching building, and many students were trapped below by the spaceship carrying the alien and couldn't get out. 
It's all blocked. What should I do? Pan Hu's eyes widened, and the O-shaped flight giant almost surrounded the teaching building, isolating it from the outside world. In addition, there are many unknown alien monsters coming out of it. The large examination room has become a large hunting ground. Follow me. Yi Meng didn't say much, and led the three of them directly to the storage room on the first floor of the teaching building. The door of the storage room here was tightly closed, and Pan Hu was so frightened that he almost shot when he opened the door. However, there was a person lying unconscious in the storage room, his face was tightly covered by a tentacle creature that was half the size of his face, and his neck was also wrapped several times by the tail. What is this? Both Tifa and Xiao Lu instinctively felt disgusted. It's a face hugger. Yi Meng's expression remained unchanged, he walked forward, and said casually, this kind of face-hugging insect is born by a queen of alien shape similar to a queen bee. It looks for biological hosts such as humans to hug its face, and implants it from the host's mouth. Xenomorph twins, using the body of a human host as a breeding ground to cultivate juvenile xenomorphs. Vomit. The three of Tifa hurriedly covered their mouths, for fear that the face-hugger would hug their own faces. But what happened next was even more terrifying. However, Yi Meng suddenly reached out and grabbed the face hugger wrapped around the man's face. Yi Meng, boss, classmate, Tifa, Pan Hu, and Xiao Lu were all taken aback. The bright sunlight outside poured into the storage room through the melting hole unhindered, dispelling the darkness. The smog and shadows in Pan Hu and Bai Xiao Lu's hearts were swept away. We can go out, get out of this ghostly place. Pan Hu was so excited that he couldn't restrain himself. Bai Xiao Lu laughed until she almost burst into tears. Only Tifa, as if realizing something, pursed her lips tightly and looked at Yi Meng. Sufficient light also makes the originally dark storage room brighter. Pan Hu suddenly yelled strangely, Boss, this man is Wang Zan. Yi Meng looked down. Really, the person who was entangled by the face hugger just now was Wang Zan who had been chasing Tifa before. Because the face hugger didn't cover his mouth and nose, the comatose Wang Zan breathed out. However, Tifa, Pan Hu, and Bai Xiao Lu all looked at his gently undulating chest subconsciously, and shuddered involuntarily when they thought of the deformed monster that was hatching inside. Give me the gun, you go out. Yi Meng glanced at the spacious and bright scenery outside, then turned around and said, explain the situation inside to the people outside and ask them to conduct a unified X-ray scan on the people who go out to confirm are their heteromorphic larvae in the body. I know. Pan Hu nodded, and suddenly realized something, staring at Yi Meng with round eyes. Boss, are you not going out with us? Bai Xiao Lu was also stunned, recalling what Yi Meng said just now, it was, you guys go out, not, let's go out together. Yi Meng responded calmly, before I go out, I want to go somewhere. Boss, how can this be done? You know how many monsters there are. Pan Hu became anxious immediately, and said to Meng Tifa, Sister-in-law, please persuade him. Meng Tifa was silent, and suddenly asked softly, Can't I not go? It's not impossible. Yi Meng smiled lightly, and looked at Tifa together, But, I want to go. Tifa nodded and said calmly, Then you go. Be careful, come out early, I'll wait for you. No matter how she hides it. Speaking of, waiting for you, there is still a little vibrato. It is good. Yi Meng nodded, and took a deep look at Tifa, I will come back. When the time comes, I will definitely find you. After finishing speaking, Yi Meng turned around and walked into the teaching building that turned into a dark purgatory again. Pan Hu and Bai Xiao Lu looked at Yi Meng blankly, not knowing what he was going to do. But they knew that it must take enough courage to dare to return to the area shrouded in death. Dot dot dot. Yi Meng walked against the crowd with a rifle on his back, and returned to the corridor on the third floor of the teaching building, and came to the blood-stained hole in the inner ring of the spaceship that seemed to lead to hell. I really want to go outside, what the hell am I doing? Yi Meng smiled helplessly, finally gritted his teeth, turned over and entered the cabin of the alien spaceship. The corridors and bulkheads inside the spaceship are mainly black, and their shape is similar to the exoskeleton of some kind of creature. The interior is humid and hot, the air is ventilated, and the smell of blood is pervasive. Yi Meng caressed the bulkhead with his palm, and his consciousness glowed like static electricity. Soon, Yi Meng's eyes brightened slightly. Sure enough, 
even if it was an alien spaceship, he could still operate the built-in electronic equipment. However, the range is the same 10 meters. Yi Meng exhaled a foul breath, and while using his consciousness to maintain his path, he walked towards the depths. Dot dot dot. As Yi Meng advanced, he recalled the details in the movie. On this alien spaceship, there is one thing that is far more terrifying than the deformed creatures such as aliens and face huggers. It's called, black water. This kind of thing is a biochemical weapon created by a creator-like alien race in the movies about the origin of aliens to destroy human beings. It will mutate in contact with air and can be transmitted through water. The aliens are nothing but black water, the wrong creatures that were accidentally cultivated after infecting humans and aliens. In Yi Meng's view, this kind of thing, like the T-virus of Resident Evil, is a creation that should never appear in this world. Once it appears, it must be destroyed immediately. It's not that Yi Meng doesn't believe in the supernatural department, but this kind of thing, only he knows how dangerous it is. Once there is any thought of research, it is time for human beings to kill themselves. Therefore, Yi Meng must end this possibility before the paranormal department or other agents start to get involved. This is not for humans, but for Yi Meng herself. Once the black water spreads outside, the real world will soon fall, until there is no pure land on this planet. Even if the end of the world does come in the future, the world will eventually fall and be ruled by various invading creatures. Yi Meng also hopes that at least he can buy a little time to breathe and develop, not now. Still, it's inevitable. Yi Meng sighed suddenly, and heard the rustling sound coming from the front of the cabin. He held a rifle in one hand, and formed a hand knife in the other. A silver light flashed in his eyes, as cold as a robot. He began to adapt to fighting more and more. Dot dot dot. Tread. Deep in the cabin of the alien spaceship, the silver-haired boy kept panting. Since the bullets ran out and the firearm was thrown away long ago, the skin on the palm of his right hand was corroded red. Really ran out of ammunition. Yi Meng was so tired that his body was about to collapse, but his steps forward became more and more determined. God knows how he got here along the way. In addition to a few face huggers, they also encountered two aliens. Yi Meng felt that it was a miracle that he could get here. Anyway, here it is, it's almost time to wrap up. With the last sliver of strength, Yi Meng walked into the cockpit of the alien spacecraft. As long as he gets closer to 10 meters, he can control the bridge with his thoughts, so that the alien spacecraft can be restarted and fly away from the planet. This is also the only solution that Yi Meng could think of before to stop the black water from leaking on his own. Until, he thought so the moment he stepped into the cockpit. Dot dot dot. Upon entering the door, Yi Meng directly stepped on the cabin floor covered with biological mucus. Look around. It can be seen that many human corpses are piled up here like a mountain. Most of the corpses have long been broken chests, and hundreds of facehugger eggs are growing. A giant alien with a height of more than 10 meters is in the area of the bridge. Using this place as a lair, a clean and slender head is moving towards this side, and the inner molars are groaning ferociously. Suddenly, three adult aliens jumped out of the lurking shadows. I knew it. Yi Meng looked back, and saw outside the door behind him, there were also two adult aliens dragging their corpses back. No, it's really not working now. Not to mention that there is still 30 meters away from the cockpit, even if you have the strength to break through, it will take a certain amount of time to restart the spacecraft. What's more, now Yi Meng doesn't have the strength to move even once, and it's all thanks to the willpower blessed by artificial intelligence characteristics to support him here. Yi Meng smiled in relief. He tried his best, and with his own ability, it really stopped here. Now, I really want to lie down, have a good sleep, and not think about other things. Yi Meng was in a daze, looking at the terrifying deformed body of the alien queen in front of him, I have seen a certain existence that is much scarier than you. A flash of light suddenly flashed through his mind. A gleam of understanding flashed in Yi Meng's eyes, and he muttered to himself, so it's like this, I've always been afraid in my heart. It turns out, I came here on purpose, to force myself into this desperate situation, to force myself to make that choice, to face my true self, to face the nightmare three years ago. Yi Meng closed his eyes, his body naturally fell backwards, his tired consciousness fell toward a never-ending place. At the same time, 
Grown up aliens, face hugging worms. Terrifyingly deformed alien monsters charged at the silver haired boy from all directions, trying to eat away his body in an instant. But at this time, a chilling aura of destruction suddenly emanated from the young man's body. The next moment, the silver haired boy who hadn't completely fallen to the ground suddenly floated up, his eyes and mouth widened abruptly, and a powerful red golden light overflowed from it, and the light penetrated the roof of the cockpit in an instant, the laser disappeared into the end of the sky outside, and the red energy lightning flashed again. Intertwined and erupted from the body surface. Zizzle. Just approaching a ray of lightning energy, an adult alien was instantly annihilated into ashes. At this moment, the alien queen, who didn't know what fear was, felt fear from the genes in her body, turned around and wanted to run away. However, by the time it saw the light of destruction, it was already too late. Boom. With the silver-haired boy's body as the center, a violent red energy erupted and swept out, which was also mixed with a mysterious substance, annihilating everything inside and outside the cockpit. Alien queen, adult alien, face hugger, alien snake, black water. Mechanical bridge, metal floor, exoskeleton bulkhead. Even the air, everything that exists is destroyed. Kryptonian civilization. The sky was stained with blood, and the earth was swallowed by darkness. The eve of the collapse of Krypton's core due to the excessive development of core energy. Ah, the screams and wailing of countless Kryptonian residents spread far and wide in the night, and an unknown monster that looked like a terrifying entity rampaged through the city. The skyscrapers on the ground, which symbolized a high level of civilization, would shatter at the touch of a touch. Not immune. Rumble. Every time the unknown monster starts, jumps, and lands, the devastated earth screams wildly. It is like a reversed meteorite falling into the sky from bottom to top, and another spacecraft known as the tip of Krypton was smashed, bursting into the sky with terrifying and amazing flames, and countless wreckage and debris carried the flames splashed all over the place. The core of the planet has not completely collapsed, but it has already turned into a purgatory. Stop it. Kill it. A large number of elite armed forces and warships with Kryptonian soldier genes rushed to the scene, but soon they were as desperate as the Kryptonian residents in the city. The devilish unknown monster ignored the impact of energy shells and lasers. No, it's not ignoring, but completely angering the other party. Roar. The soul-shaking soaring roar forms an actual vibe and impact, Dusty. In the next moment, the huge monster rushed out violently from the fire field with a hurricane. It is unimaginable that the obviously strong and bloated body has lightning speed. Setsuna, where the troops are located, was plowed out of an abyss hundreds of meters long. Inside and outside the abyss were the body remains and armor fragments of Kryptonian soldiers. It leapt high again crashed into the high-altitude battleship, and completely burned the sky, and everything it passed was destroyed. Even though the surviving Kryptonian soldiers had courage and loyalty engraved in their genes, at the moment still could not restrain their fear and despair and knelt down on the ground, their eyes blurred by tears and dust, their eyes raised high, their pupils trembling and expanding. The existence falling down this way. The monster has a huge three-meter-tall body, as if the strong muscle fibers poured by molten iron are exposed. The gray-white hard exoskeleton almost covers the whole body, and there are ferocious white bone spurs protruding from the fist end to the back, as if transforming the concentrated energy just now. With the physical ability, the surface of the body continuously releases red light that overflows with electric light. Its downcast eyes and open mouth were filled with crimson, and then it burst out a destructive red laser to destroy everything below. Dot dot dot. The center of civilization, the tower of the elders who control the Kryptonian civilization. What the hell is that? A Kryptonian elder looked at the flames of the city soaring into the sky in the distance, and asked in horror. The old Kryptonian old man sitting on the seat lowered his eyes. A century ago, a crazy Kryptonian scientist integrated Kryptonian genes with other biological experiments, creating a taboo existence that can only kill and fight. That is also the Kryptonian civilization. One of the greatest mistakes ever made in history. Because of it, the Kryptonian civilization later promulgated a decree strictly prohibiting the integration of Kryptonian genes with other alien genes. My god. The elder Krypton's body trembled uncontrollably. When he realized what it was, he couldn't hide the fear on his face, 
A century ago, how many Kryptonian residents and soldiers were sacrificed to catch it. Now it's back, how do we stop it? We can't stop it, it comes with killing and destruction. The old Kryptonian old man's face was full of fatigue, but finally he smiled with relief. It doesn't matter anyway, does it? No matter how our civilization perishes, today is destined to be Krypton's destruction day. Crazy, you are all a bunch of crazy. The elder Krypton was trembling all over and wanted to escape, but as the other party said, Krypton will eventually usher in destruction today. Perhaps it was their fate to be killed by that existence that was opposed to their belief. At this time, Elder Krypton seemed to have a premonition, and his old body froze suddenly. He turned his head slowly, his pupils dilated little by little, reflecting the terrifying figure leaping down from the blood-red sky outside the window. Destroy. Doomsday is here. Dot dot dot. On the outskirts of Kryptonian civilization, a building fortress. A Kryptonian couple is hugging each other tightly, and in their arms, a newborn baby is sleeping soundly. He's cute, isn't he? The woman's face was filled with a happy smile, which then turned into deep sadness, but we can't watch him grow up anymore. Know that Krypton has no future. The man said in a deep voice, there is not much time left for us. I have found a suitable planet for him to live in. He will thrive there, absorb the solar radiation there, and become the newborn son of Krypton son of hope. The woman was not as optimistic as her husband, and her eyes were full of reluctance and grief, he is also the only alien there. He will become their god and lead them to a new era. After the man finished speaking, his attitude was extremely firm, hurry up and prepare the Kryptonian spaceship, and after injecting the Kryptonian life code into his body, I will send him out of here. The woman put away her grief and started to act. The man put the sleeping baby on a metal crib, and took out an ancient object similar to a small skull from his arms. The little skull immediately escaped gravity and floated on the crib. A subtle energy flowed in the light. The underflow is directed into the baby. Didi. The alarm system blared. It's bad, five warships are detected approaching here. While manipulating the virtual screen, the woman issued a warning with a slightly changed expression. It should be General Krypton who discovered that I stole the code of life. The man quickly walked to the inner wall of the fortress, put on a set of metal armor that popped up automatically, and his body fit perfectly with the armor, I'll stop them. After absorbing the code of life, you send him into the spaceship. And many more. The woman suddenly looked at the virtual screen in astonishment, showing an inconceivable expression. The signals of four warships disappeared suddenly, and another battleship was speeding away, as if fleeing from something. Outside, what happened? As soon as the woman's words fell, the fortress building kept shaking, as if a giant was holding a giant hammer and violently hitting the ground. Instantly destroy four Kryptonian warships. As if thinking of something, the man's resolute face paled in an instant, and he was even more terrified than facing five warships. Quick. Send him into the spaceship quickly, before it's too late. The words did not fall. Boom. The outer wall of the fortress building that could resist the energy bombardment of the warship was directly smashed open, and giant devil-like monsters broke into the fortress. It was a huge and ferocious bone spur monster. Doomsday. No. The woman wailed heart-piercingly. Seeing Doomsday cast its red eyes on the crib, the woman rushed over recklessly, and the next moment her body was directly pierced by a grey bone spur. A little blood splashed on the metal crib, and the woman fell to the ground slowly. The giant monster didn't respond to this, its eyes gleamed with burning red pupils, and it poked the blood-stained bone spur towards the crib. The bone spur penetrated the small skull in the air along the way, and more than half of the subtle energy sank into the bone spur. The giant monster continued to poke down the ferocious red bone spur, and the sharp bone tip touched the baby's chest on the bed, and a bean-sized drop of blood spilled from the white, tender and thin skin. The sleeping baby seemed to feel the pain, and seemed to perceive the passing of his parents, and let out a loud cry with his small mouth curled up. Baby's cries echoed throughout the ruined fortress buildings. The giant monster called, Day of Destruction, by the Kryptonian civilization suddenly stopped moving, its red pupils full of destruction and killing continued to dim, and a ray of human struggle appeared on the terrifying and hideous monster's face. Who am I? Where am I? What do I do? Destroy everything. Why would I do this? I'm not a monster. I am. 
Yi Meng, just a human being. The blood-stained bone spurs were slowly retracted. Doomsday put his head in his hands and roared, looking at the bloody wreckage in the fortress, I did all of this. No, how could I do these things? By the way, I was dreaming. This time I became that monster again. Ha 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 ha. Destroying the day's original pure destructive aura, there was a ray of human madness. The cry of the baby and the smirk of the monster reverberated inside the bloody and smoky fortress. Why don't you wake up? The giant monster slapped itself, the strong wind blew up, and it felt painful, but it still couldn't wake up from it. At this time, the small spaceship inside the fortress opened the single cabin according to the previous system procedure, and issued a smart beep. The spaceship will sail to the destination in 30 seconds, please register to enter the cabin as soon as possible. Cabin, are you calling me? The giant monster stepped forward, gestured with its huge and ferocious palms, and found that the single person cabin, not to mention its current body, could not even accommodate a normal adult human. At most, it can only accommodate one child. Quote dot 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 quote. Doomsday turned his scorching eyes on the crying baby. Dot dot dot. 30 seconds later, the top of the fortress building is opened, and a small spaceship jets out flames, leaving Krypton in the doomsday scene and sailing to the outer space universe. In the narrow single cabin of the small spaceship, the baby has stopped crying, and the sleepy face has returned to sleep soundly. The cabin of a small spaceship. A giant monster with an exceptionally terrifying appearance was hugging the small spaceship tightly. The gray-white bone spurs were deeply stuck into the metal shell of the spaceship. Due to being in outer space, the surface of the body was covered with a thin layer of white frost. It is also sleeping. This small spacecraft sailed away from Krypton, plunged into a dark and lonely vast universe, and set off towards the civilization called Earth. Another accompanying special medical staff quickly took out a bag of needles, sucked up a small bottle full of liquid medicine, and was about to infuse it from the boy's exposed high-temperature arm. As a result, the moment the slender metal needle tube touched the skin of the silver-haired young man's arm, a pale bone light of the texture of a biological shell immediately appeared on the surface of the arm, causing the slender metal needle tube that was trying to penetrate into the body to bend directly. It's not like being stuck in the human body, it's more like being stuck in an object harder than metal. This time, the special medical staff were completely dumbfounded. The middle-aged detective standing outside the one-way viewing glass window of the isolation room saw this and immediately said, let them all go out, there is no need to rescue the inmates. But, the young female detective on the side was about to say something. Nothing but, the middle-aged detective said in a deep voice, for the only human being who appeared in the area affected by the ball lightning, his death is definitely a matter of course. If he does not die, he is not in the category of human beings. Any of our conventional treatments will not be effective. Yes, sir. After half a minute, the door of the isolation room at the last high level was closed again, and all the special rescue personnel left, leaving only the unconscious teenager lying on the hospital bed, with curling heat still rising from his body. I know him. His name is Yi Meng, and he was tested here for intrusion detection last week. The young female detective stared at the teenager in the isolation room, her eyes flickering, and handed a tablet notebook to the middle-aged detective. The middle-aged detective lowered his head, opened the personal intrusion file of high school student Yi Meng, and flipped through it to the end. It can be seen that the intrusion level has just been adjusted from G to D level, on-the-spot contact is required to carry isolation armor, and general authority personnel cannot touch it. It is judged as an intrusion creation, and the degree of danger is unknown. One in the final invasion report. In addition to the record of killing an adult mutton dog alone with bare hands, a personal record of, the only one who survived the impact of ball lightning at the crash site of an alien spaceship, was added. The middle-aged inspector continued to add the last investigation record, the body temperature and body surface hardness have non-human performance. The young female detective asked, Sir, what should we do now? The alien spaceships invading the creation also need a lot of colleagues from the supernatural department to deal with. I have already requested support from other supernatural departments in surrounding cities. You should follow the procedure and make an appointment with headquarters to apply for the arrival test of the Guardian Dragon Girl. The middle-aged detective stared straight at the silver-haired boy in the isolation room, 
he should have been infected and invaded by something in that alien spaceship. The level of intrusion must be determined as soon as possible so that we can deal with it later. He would think this way because when the Guardian Dragon Girl came to check last week, it was confirmed that Yi Meng had no signs of being invaded. Therefore, it can only be the acquired invasion caused by the fall of the intruding spaceship. Dot dot dot. At the moment, in a dream, Yi Meng's consciousness gradually woke up, and the picture reflected in his consciousness was a vast and infinite universe. A small spaceship is driving alone, dragging its tail flame, heading towards the civilization destination set as the Earth. And a three meter tall gray and white bone spur monster was walking together with a small spaceship. No matter how you looked at it, it was a bit funny, but Yi Meng couldn't laugh at all. Is this Doomsday? This is me, another incarnation in another dream. What is Doomsday? This kind of creature comes from the DC universe and has different versions, but the origin is directly related to Krypton or Kryptonians. In Yi Meng's previous life, the reason why this creature was well known was because Doomsday had a real record of killing Superman in frontal battles, and even beating the super villain Darkseid called Dad. Also known as Superman's Judgment Day, it's the fate of the gods among men. Doomsday has been stronger than Superman since its birth. It was born to kill and destroy. It is the end of all things in the universe. The inner genes determine its own irrationality. It has destructive power and infinite energy, flying like jumping power, infinite physical energy that will never feel tired, and super fast healing regeneration ability. In the battle, according to the characteristics of the opponent's ability, it can continuously evolve and restrain the opponent to adapt to all environments and all enemies. Since Doomsday had a problem at the beginning of its birth, it ran out of control and could not distinguish between friend and foe. It is a killing machine that never stops from beginning to end. Dot dot dot. Yi Meng's consciousness recalled the settings and characteristics of creatures like Doomsday, and finally understood why he tried his best to forget this memory three years ago. Even if I escape, I don't want to return to this incomparably real nightmare. Three years ago, Yi Meng entered the dreamland of the DC universe, becoming the first doomsday since the birth of Krypton for the first time. Ancient Destruction Day As the incarnation of the ancient doomsday, he first entered the current DC universe dream. Yi Meng went out of control and killed tens of thousands of Kryptonians on Krypton, and was finally imprisoned inside Krypton, where he has been imprisoned as the incarnation of Doom Day for thousands of years. Yes, Yi Meng's nightmare three years ago was lost for thousands of years on Krypton as the ancient doomsday. Therefore, after Yi Meng woke up, in order to avoid the collapse of his own consciousness, his subconscious mind selectively forgot the memory of this dream. Even so, his self-disposition and personality in reality were still infiltrated and distorted by the incarnation of doomsday in his dream, if he hadn't been redeemed from Tifa later. Yi Meng gradually recalled the past, but it was like opening Pandora's box, and he felt more and more palpitations. I thought that in the dream world of Marvel, after receiving the blessing of artificial intelligence characteristics, I could barely face the incarnation of this dream. Unexpectedly, just entering the dreamland of the DC universe, he became the avatar of Doomsday for the second time. The absolute rationality of Yi Meng's artificial intelligence was instantly defeated by the idea of destruction, and he lost control and ran away. He broke free from the cage that imprisoned him, rushed out of Krypton, and wreaked havoc on a Krypton city. Sinked countless Kryptonian warships and structures. Also personally killed Superman's biological parents. Yes. Yi Meng naturally saw that the Kryptonian baby sleeping on the small spaceship was not the original future protagonist in this DC Universe dream, Superman, Clark, the god of Earth and humans. Yi Meng's consciousness is silent. Although Krypton should have been destroyed today, he personally lost many lives. Definitely, Yi Meng will no longer choose to escape, whether it is the real world or the dream world. If one day I am killed in this dream as doomsday, then I deserve it and I am beyond my control. Yi Meng calmed down and began to confirm his current situation. His current ambiguous and clear consciousness is at the junction of dreams and reality, so he didn't become doomsday again, but he didn't wake up and return to reality. Yi Meng's consciousness turned back suddenly, in addition to being able to see his doomsday incarnation in the current dream, he seemed to be able to faintly see his body lying unconscious on the hospital bed in reality. 
The high temperature and hardening of the skin and exoskeleton in the real body are not the characteristics of Doomsday. In the dream, Doomsday, who shouldn't be tired, sleeps in a humane way after slightly satisfying his desire for destruction, which really means that the essence of this ancient Doomsday is the embodiment of Yi Meng's self-consciousness. The incarnation of Doomsday is different from the previous sword incarnation and artificial intelligence incarnation. Yi Meng realized one point clearly. The Doomsday avatar has a much deeper bond with the real self than any other dream avatar. It is no longer Yi Meng's unilateral invasion of the dream world, but the Doom Day in the dream is also invading the assimilated reality body at a terrifying speed. Even if Yi Meng wakes up at at the moment and leaves the dreamland of the DC universe, the power and will of Doomsday will all transition to the real world with his waking up, reducing the main body to an out-of-control Doomsday monster. Can't wake up. Avoiding this dream is not a good idea either, it will only make him lose control of the DC dream. There is only one way, the only way. Yi Meng struggled consciously, then stopped hesitation, and turned towards the bone spur monster holding the spaceship. The consciousness at the junction of reality and dream, once again fit together with the incarnation of Doomsday, this is also the first time Yi Meng took the initiative to enter the dream incarnation of Doomsday. Dot dot dot. DC Universe. Earth, Smallville, Kansas, United States. Here is a sparsely populated open plain, with only a few farmers' wooden houses scattered here and there, and the wooden houses are surrounded by patches of farm wheat fields. It was late at night, and the night shrouded the surrounding fields, and it was quiet and beautiful. The stars all over the sky shone faintly in the night sky, but at this moment, one of the stars suddenly became brighter and brighter. Call out. The unidentified white flight object pierced the sky like a meteor, sprayed out the tail flame, broke through the atmosphere, and continued to fall obliquely towards the plane here. A bang broke the silence. The flight object landed on the farm next to a wooden house, the ground shook, the soil splashed, and it continued to plow a 10-meter-long deep ditch. What happened? In the adjacent wooden house, Jonathan Kent and Martha Kent, who are the farmer couple, were about to fall asleep when they were awakened by the loud noise outside. I'll go outside and have a look. Jonathan, in his thirties, immediately got up, took the shotgun off the wall, turned on the flashlight, opened the door and walked out of the cabin. Worried about her husband's safety, Martha followed behind. The couple came to the farm outside the wooden house and saw the plowed farmland in a mess. What is that? Jonathan shone the light of the flashlight towards the end of the deep ditch. His pupils constricted suddenly. It was like a white flight plane he had never seen before. Through the transparent cabin of the flight plane head, he could vaguely see a baby lying inside. My God. Martha opened her mouth wide, and was about to move forward. Sudden. The ground and the flight controller trembled violently. Under the horrifying gaze of Jonathan and the Martha couple, a three-meter-tall pale monster with bony spurs slowly crawled out from the bottom of the spaceship and stood up with a destructive golden red light flashing in its eyes. Just one look, like being gazed into an abyss of fear, can completely deprive a person of that thing called courage. As if sensing the aura emanating from the monster, the barking of dogs and the crowing of chickens not far away stopped, and even the crowing of insects fell silent, and the entire plane became deadly silent. Without waiting for the couple to react, the bone spur monster's eyes seemed to fall back on the flight controller, and suddenly swung up the spaceship that was two or three times larger than itself, and the next moment it made a slight squat movement, a strong shock wave and hurricane were set off on the spot. The wheat fields are generally turbulent, and they are all depressed. The sound barrier was broken. The bone spur monster leapt into the sky with the flight device in one hand, and then disappeared in an instant, leaving the Kent couple limp on the ground. In the early morning, just before dawn, a retro police car with flashing lights stopped in front of the farm. Yes, yes, I am the informant, Jonathan Kent. A flight gun just fell on my manor, and there seems to be a baby less than one year old inside. There is also a terrible monster, which took the baby away. God, I can't imagine what happened to the baby. The farmer's Kent couple described it to the police officer who got off the police car with lingering fear. The two police officers who rushed to the scene looked at each other. Spaceships falling from the sky. A three meter tall monster. If not, there was still a deep plow mark caused by the fall of an unknown flight object, 
and a heavy depression with a radius of 5 meters, they would definitely think that the farmer couple were having a nightmare. Boom. At this time, the earth trembled. Is this an earthquake? The police officers and the Kents froze for a moment, then hurriedly exited the house. Subsequently, like a giant constantly beating the ground violently with a hammer, Smallville continued to tremble and shake until dawn. Dot dot dot. It is about 20 kilometers away from the farm where the spacecraft crashed, in a deserted plateau with mountains and rivers. This is also the source of earthquakes. Boom. The landslides and the ground cracked, and the dust waves roiled. A 100 meter high mountain collapsed, and a 3 meter high gray white bony spur monster rushed out of it carrying a hunting hurricane, turning into a gray streamer and continuing to crash into another mountain. Abyss. Who I am. Yi Meng, who is Yi Meng? Destroy everything, leave no one. The strange and hoarse self talk of the monster is like the whisper of an ancient god, not like a human language, with violence, entrained in the raging and howling wind. Its every move is a disaster, and it quickly destroyed half of the mountain range. It won't get tired, and the more it vents its desire for destruction, the more terrifying its destructive aura will be, so huge and thick that it's about to burst out from its body. In fact, it is true. Zizzle. Wisps of gold-red destruction lightning faintly erupted on the surface of the body, instantly annihilating the gravel and dust flying around the monster into nothingness. The violent eyes of the bone spur monster were about to burst out red heat, and then stopped suddenly, staring at a hill, on which a small alien spaceship was placed tiltedly, and there was a faint to negligible light in it. Weak life. The heat in the bone spur monster's eyes dimmed a little, and with his head in his hands, the gray and hideous monster's face twisted ferociously, struggling with himself. Control. I'm a human being, not an out-of-control monster. Tread. The earth shook again, and amazing cracks burst out. The bone spur monster leapt to the hill where the spaceship was, looked down at the sleeping baby in the spaceship, and finally revealed a ray of human emotion. By the way, I am Yi Meng. I became doomsday in my dream. Yi Meng, the incarnation of the ancient ruinous day, regained consciousness temporarily, but only temporarily. Even if he breaks free from the loss of control now, the desire to destroy is still destroying his own reason all the time, and soon he will completely lose himself again. Wanting to control the current incarnation of Doomsday is much more difficult than Yi Meng imagined. But Yi Meng had no choice. The Doomsday in the dreamland of the current DC universe has begun to invade the ontology of assimilating reality. Therefore, Yi Meng had to take the initiative to enter the dreamland and try to invade and control the incarnation of Doomsday. That's right, the Dream Destruction Day and the reality Yi Meng are invading and assimilating each other. High risks and opportunities coexist. Once Doomsday succeeds. In reality, Yi Meng will also become a Doomsday that runs out of control. And once Yi Meng succeeded, he will control the power of the incarnation of Doomsday, and will also begin to control the dreamland of the DC universe that is currently invading. But it's really, really, really hard. Every time Yi Meng transforms into the ancient destruction day, Yi Meng's humanity and rationality will be destroyed by the desire for destruction in an instant. If it weren't for the blessing of artificial intelligence characteristics, which allowed Yi Meng to constantly refresh and adjust his own consciousness, so as to reduce and divert the destructive desires that fill his body, mind and mind, Yi Meng might have gone crazy long ago. Destroyable desires, like the power and energy of Doomsday, are endless, and may destroy reason again in the next second. However, there was one thing that caught Yi Meng's attention. Doomsday Yi Meng shifted his flickering red eyes to the baby on the small spaceship. Somehow, Doomsday Yi Meng is better able to restore a moment of humanity when near a baby. It was as if something was holding the two together. Kryptonian blood, or something else. Yi Meng suddenly recalled that on Krypton, as the incarnation of Doom Day, she was freed from the desire for destruction for the first time, and it was also because of the current son of Krypton. No, not because of him. In Yi Meng's distorted and disordered thinking, a memory picture of the bone spur in his finger piercing the ancient skeleton suspended above the baby suddenly flashed across before he was about to kill the son of Krypton. That is the key to him being able to break free from his destructive instincts and keep his sanity for a moment. Kryptonian Life Code the code of life is the most precious sacred object of the Kryptonian race, and it manifests as the gene pool of the Kryptonian race. 
It represents the future of Krypton, and it also represents infinite possibilities. It can program various high-quality abilities, and even a theoretically perfect Kryptonian. Half of the code of life entered my body. Yi Meng was stunned, this was a mistake, as the incarnation of Doomsday, he can be said to be the most wrong and extreme genetic creation of the Kryptonian race. Before Yi Meng could think too much, the desire to destroy struck again like a fire, and a red light overflowed from his eyes, and he was about to turn into a moving disaster again. But at this time, a golden ray of light burst out from the eastern sky at dawn, scattered into thousands of strands, and landed on the gray and white bone spur body of Yi Meng, the doomed day, and also reflected the small spaceship and the hill where it was located in gold. On the small spaceship, the Kryptonian baby, who was bathed in the Earth's sun for the first time, had a sweet and innocent smile on his lips. The day of doom the red light in Yi Meng's eyes gradually faded, looking at the rising golden sun, his reason once again surfaced out of control. Praise the sun, Yi Meng was surprised to find that when she was bathed in the sun, the desire to destroy everything in her heart was suppressed to a certain extent. He looked at the baby in the small spaceship, and he could directly see through the genes in the other person's body, just like some kind of chemical reaction, some kind of incredible adaptation changes. This is a Kryptonian. After being bathed in the radiation of the yellow sun where the earth is located, his genes and body began to metamorphosis into the Superman field comparable to the gods. According to the setting, at the beginning of the birth of Doomsday, it was the extreme of Superman's field and would not be too much affected by solar radiation. Can now, although Yi Meng can't see what's going on inside his body through his exoskeleton, he can feel that the sun is helping him suppress the genetic defect instinct of out-of-control destruction. Although very subtle, it does exist. The code of life carried out a second transformation on the doomsday gene. Make him bathe in the yellow sun, and also undergo some kind of change. If I can greatly improve the genetic defects in my body, maybe I can no longer go out of control and run away, and perfectly control the avatar. Doomsday Yi Meng felt that he had vaguely found a feasible path at the moment. Since Kryptonians can evolve into Superman, why can't he grow into Superman on Doomsday? You must know that Doomsday was also transformed from Kryptonian genetic errors, so it can be regarded as a close relative of Kryptonians. Now, the existence of the Code of Life and Yi Meng's self-awareness make this a theoretical possibility. Definitely. Even in the setting of American comics, there is only a precedent where Superman is infected and becomes Doomsday, but there is no precedent for Doomsday to grow into Superman. Even Yi Meng from at the moment can't imagine what it would be like to be Superman's Doomsday. Doomsday Superman. Doomsday Superman. The name is good, Yi Meng, the incarnation of Doomsday, saw his future direction in this dream. Regardless of whether the half of the Kryptonian life code absorbed and stored in the body is undergoing a second transformation of the doomsday gene on the body. Taking advantage of the short-term suppression of the desire to destroy, Yi Meng arduously thinks from the side of human reason. Currently, two things are certain. First, the Earth's sunlight has a certain effect on suppressing the desire to destroy itself, and even cooperates with the code of life to improve the defective genes. However, it may take 10 years, a hundred years, or even a longer time to completely eliminate or avoid the desire to destroy the incarnation. Yi Meng thought of another point. The lifespan of Doomsday far exceeds that of Kryptonians. At least thousands of years have passed, and the incarnation of Doomsday is still in adolescence without any signs of aging. In this respect, compared with Superman, Doomsday is another perfect creation based on Kryptonian genes and going to another extreme of the universe. For example, Doomsday will not tire, his strength and energy are endless, his amazing vitality and terrifying adaptability allow him to survive in any area of the universe. What's more, Doomsday doesn't need to eat like other life forms. That's right, Doomsday will usually seem to hunt and kill Kryptonians, other life forms, destroy raging buildings and spaceships. It's just that it will instinctively destroy all creations in sight. In fact, this is not a complete genetic defect, but it is powerful behavioral patterns imparted by the other side of genes. Destruction is the only spiritual food and racial instinct of doomsday, and it is a manifestation of venting and depleting the overflowing strength and energy in the body. This is part of the conclusions that Yi Meng, who has been incarnated as doomsday several times, empathizes with himself. 
even, at the moment. Yi Meng, who incarnated the ancient destruction day, returned to his short-term reason, and his subconscious breathing also caused the mountain air to vibrate continuously. The sudden heat made the plateau hot and restless, and the next second of inhalation would form a tornado hurricane. Standing motionless on the hill in a rather, safe manner, a ray of red energy would overflow from the hideous and terrifying bone spur body from time to time, causing cracks and deep ditches to burst out of the hill on which he stepped. To exist is to destroy. Therefore, this also dispelled Yi Meng's attempt to get closer to the sun now, so as to obtain a large amount of solar radiation to forcibly modify the genes in the body. That might make the avatar of Doomsday stronger in a short period of time, but it would also make it more difficult for him to control this body full of destructive desires. In less one day in the future, Yi Meng at the moment of the dream controls the incarnation of Doomsday to a certain extent, and reason completely suppresses desire. As for the second thing, Doomsday Yi Meng's eyes were faintly red again, looking at the small Kryptonian spaceship next to him, looking at the young baby who was still sleeping inside. Perhaps because of the Kryptonian gene or the code of life in the body, since he was still on Krypton, the son of Krypton has a certain connection with his incarnation, and he can constantly awaken his weak humanity. This is also the biggest reason why Doomsday Yi Meng chose to bring the spaceship with him. The son of Krypton is his incarnation of Doomsday, a portable tool man who maintains a slight sense of humanity. At the same time, it is also an insurance policy. If one day in the future, I finally failed in this dream, I failed to become a controllable and rational doomsday superman, but completely reduced to a doomsday monster that lost its humanity. The bone spur monster stared at the son of Krypton, the red light in his eyes became stronger and stronger, and he showed a terrifying and ferocious smile, then, you will end me. In the dream world, dying as the doomsday avatar might at least escape the consequences of being completely lost in the dream world. What Yi Meng is worried about is what if he is really lost as the incarnation of Doomsday in the future, and no one can kill himself in the dream. As the future protagonist of this cosmic dream, the son of Krypton, Superman, and the god of the world, it should not be difficult to do this, right? Dot dot dot. Kaka. Suddenly the hum of propellers came from the daylit sky. A police helicopter approaches the sky above the plateau. When the local police officer on the helicopter saw the plateau mountains that had almost disappeared and the grey-white bony spur monster sitting on a hill bathed in the sun, he couldn't help but feel his scalp go numb. My god, what is that? Last night, the monster described by the residents. It really exists. Just as they saw the bone spur monster below, the bone spur monster also looked up, violent crimson spouted from its eyes, and two red lasers pierced the sky. Laugh. The red laser light passed by the air next to the helicopter, and never reached the end of the sky. Even if it didn't hit directly, it melted part of the fuselage, making the police officers in the cabin feel as hot as fire. Also, there is a violent and destructive aura that makes people fear from the bottom of their hearts. The clouds broke and the air was turbulent. The police helicopter flying high in the sky shook for a while, and when the crew came back to their senses in horror, the hills below had been smashed and collapsed layer by layer, and the bone spur monster rushed to the end of the field of vision with the flight weapon on its shoulders. It wasn't until the bony spur monster that seemed like an incarnation of destruction disappeared from sight, and the strong wind caused the helicopter to sway from side to side, that a policeman sitting paralyzed on the cabin had the strength to pick up the walkie-talkie. Headquarters, headquarters, this is Smallville, please reply. Dot dot dot. Washington. White House, Oval Office. Come in. An officer wearing a colonel's rank insignia uniform knocked on the door hurriedly. After a calm male voice came out of the office, he immediately opened the door and walked in. I've pushed off all afternoon meetings, what's going on now? Sitting on an office chair, the middle-aged man in a suit and leather shoes asked in a deep voice. Just now, he had learned a little about the situation from the call from the military base. It's just that until now, he still feels a little unbelievable. Alien visitors. Or a bone spur monster. The Colonel Express reported. It. Dot was first discovered at Smallville's farmstead, as if descending with an alien spaceship, and has now crossed the state at breakneck speed from Kansas and has entered Oklahoma territory. So fast, can it fly? The middle-aged man was stunned. No, it's just that it jumps faster than flying. 
The colonel smiled wryly, he had never seen such a powerful creature. You didn't use armed force to intercept. An armed force has been dispatched to try to intercept it. At present, the entire army has been wiped out. Quote dot 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 quote. There was a sudden silence in the office. More than 10 seconds later, the middle-aged man said calmly and seriously, use all the nearby military forces to catch it at all costs. Don't let it endanger the lives and property safety of citizens. He paused, and continued, definitely, it and the spaceship are also of great research value. Be careful not to damage the spaceship too much. Yes, sir. The year is 1980. DC Universe Earth, same as Washington Metropolis, in a large museum. Diana, you are really mysterious. In the studio, a male staff member wearing glasses suddenly expressed emotion. Uh-huh, not far from the side. A mature and tall woman is wearing a white professional dress, stepping on high heels, and is painting a statue with a light and bright color with a pencil. The perfect body curve drawn by the hip-wrapping dress is stronger than any artwork in the room. Very aesthetically pleasing. Every time you go out of the museum, I feel like you disappear. The male staff member continued, using the old saying in the East, it's, the dragon sees the head but doesn't see the tail. It's okay. During the rest time, I'm just used to staying at home. Diana pursed her lips lightly, noncommittal. You don't look like someone who would stay at home. The male colleague was muttering something. But at this moment, the TV that was on suddenly interrupted an urgent report. This is a video shot 10 minutes ago in Kansas. The male personnel in the studio and Diana looked at the TV screen. Then, the male staff's pupils trembled like an earthquake, and his mouth opened wide, is it true? Diana's dark and beautiful eyes also showed seriousness. It can be seen that in the low-resolution video, a black spot suddenly grows from the end of the sky from far to near, and keeps getting bigger, and finally it is a tall and hideous gray-white bone spur monster. Its hideous and terrifying body is nearly three meters tall, and it is holding an unidentified flight body that is two or three times larger than itself with one hand. The moment it lands, it is like a meteorite hitting the open space of a local town, causing the ground to sag directly. After a few meters, a huge pit with a diameter of 10 meters was formed, and shocking cracks burst out to the ground outside the pit. Boom. Without a trace of stagnation, the moment it landed, the monster jumped up again. The dust wave swept across, and the sound barrier was broken. All the glass in the town was shattered, and garbage and rubble were flying all over the sky. In the blink of an eye, the bone spur monster took an unknown flight device away from the town, and its figure turned into a streamer of afterimages and rushed to the farther sky region. The video was interrupted at this point, less than three seconds, and it took only half a second for the bony spur monster to show a blurred outline of its true face. But the terrifying appearance that seems to come from another world, the perfect and ferocious exoskeleton and the bone spurs all over the body, form the mighty force of moving natural disasters wherever it passes, making all human beings who see this scene horrified. The genes deep in the body are trembling, as if witnessing some cosmic abyss. Human beings have always considered themselves to be the greatest race on Earth and even in the universe. Until, when they saw this bony spur monster that shouldn't exist in reality, they were weaker than ants in comparison. Even Diana Prince, who has the true blood of the gods, saw this bony spur monster through the screen, and her body and mind instantly tensed up and entered the heroine mode of preparing for battle. Dot dot dot. At the moment, Gotham City. Years of overcast clouds have made the days here as gloomy as the nights. Wayne Estate. What is that? A black-haired boy less than 10 years old curled up on the sofa, watching the bone spur monster image on TV, his body trembling uncontrollably. Bruce. A gentleman quickly walked into the living room, picked up the remote control and turned off the TV. It's okay, it's just a movie special effect. The gentleman comforted him in a calm tone, and stepped forward to hug the boy's trembling body. A beautiful lady wearing a pearl necklace also hurried out of the room and asked nervously, Honey, what happened? It's okay, it's okay, he's just scared. The gentleman said softly. The black-haired boy lying in his arms bit his lips hard, his eyes were dull, and the powerful and terrifying scene kept coming back to his mind. He still doesn't know that from today onwards, the bone spur monster will become another frequent visitor to nightmares besides bats.
that indescribably ferocious body, so powerful that it overflows with destructive power. If it comes to Gotham, in Gotham City, despair once again hit Bruce Wayne's childhood heart like a dark tide. Dot dot dot. Metropolis, the Red Room laboratory that secretly collects and researches various alien technologies. Silas Stone, the black research supervisor in a white research uniform, also read the news report with horror on his face, still terrified. At the same time, in the key closed single room of the laboratory, a square metal box placed on the experimental table suddenly trembled spontaneously. This quickly caught Silas Stone's attention. After all, the cube metal box has never been moved since it was excavated and discovered during World War II. Could it be that the bone spur monster came from the same high-level civilization as this mother box? Surprised and delighted, Silas felt that he might have stumbled upon some great alien clue. Definitely, unbeknownst to him, the awakened mother box is trying to spread a message to the outer universe. That extraterrestrial message, once translated, said, don't come near, don't come near, don't come near. This planet is extremely dangerous. Dot dot dot. For DC Earth to expose itself in the dream, this is naturally driven by the desire to destroy. Definitely, even if Yi Meng knew, he wouldn't care. Unlike previous artificial intelligence, it's all turned into doomsday, what else should we care about? Holding a small Kryptonian spacecraft with excellent quality in one hand, Doomsday Yi Meng leapt up again. The Kryptonian spacecraft in his hand seemed to be weightless, and the huge bone spur body easily broke through the sound barrier and flew up, reaching a kilometer in an instant. Above the clouds above, a land territory that spanned several kilometers in a vertical leap. Storms and lightning are with you, everything is unstoppable. Standing at a high altitude, looking at the distant sky 10 kilometers away, surrounded by dozens of metal falcon-like modern fighter planes flying over again. Day of destruction Yi Meng suddenly grinned ferociously, a fiery red glow appeared in his eyes, and his body surface burst out with shock, no longer suppressing the overflowing desire for destruction, he actively adjusted his direction and jumped towards the group plane. Just in time, a toy to vent his desire for destruction delivered to his door. In a minute, the border of Texas, the sky and the ground are burning. The devastated wasteland is full of debris. The elite army obviously didn't realize what kind of existence they were facing. Don't say that the officer told them to pay attention to the firepower, don't destroy the spaceship in the monster's hands, even if they used all the firepower, they still couldn't suppress the bone spur monster at all. Not a single modern fighter plane was flying in the sky, the red laser beam swept across everything, and the gray and white bone spur monster fought the missile alone, carrying the scorched spaceship and continuing to go away. On this day, the human civilization on DC Earth collectively lost its voice, feeling for the first time an unknown and powerful existence that could not cope with it. Later, some indigenous tribes in India and Africa even respectfully called the bone spur monster that descended on the Earth, he, interpreting it as the incarnation of gods to support worship. Yi Meng didn't care about what other people thought. He carried the small spaceship with the son of Krypton on it from the inland of the United States to the coast, and finally plunged into the vast sea. He's just doomsday. What does it have to do with me to destroy you? What kind of existence is this? The huge three-meter-high body is like pouring molten iron. The gray and white exoskeleton is like armor, which can withstand the bombing of heat conduction. Like a monster that crawled out of the abyss of hell and fell from heaven. What is even more frightening is the terrifying mighty power that only the gods in mythology possess. Endless heat waves gushed from its nose and mouth, golden red lasers burst out from its eyes, and lightning energy lingered all over its body. With the lightning, the storm rages. Wherever it passes, it is a disaster. Tread. When carrying an ancient Greek-style silver sword and dark gold round shield on his back, wearing a red battle armor and a blue skirt, a head of black hair fluttering in the wind, Tall and fit, impeccable, beautiful body with it cannot be ignored that the extraordinary woman waved the golden long whip in her hand and landed steadily on the tall buildings in the small town along the Texas coast. Looking at the dignified and sharp gaze in her beautiful eyes, one can see the turbulent sea surface, the huge eddies and water absorbing tornadoes are slowly calming down, and the seawater is falling like a torrential rain with a delay. The soaring waves caused by the giant falling into the sea just now made the town wet, and the seawater poured back. 
Most of the residents of the small town were still stunned, their eyes glazed over, looking at the sea, unable to believe what they saw just now. Obviously, they didn't, settled, in the small town, but just jumped over the sky, still setting off violent hurricanes and dust waves. The sky is gloomy, and a storm is approaching. The existence of the natural disasters that caused the present has long since disappeared. Are you a step late? Wonder Woman sighed against the wind and rain. Her left hand subconsciously grasped the hilt of the divine sword behind her, her slender and delicate fingers clenched tightly, the phalanges turned slightly white with force, her hand still trembled uncontrollably, causing the sword body to vibrate. Are you even afraid of yourself as a demigod? Wonder Woman Diana discovered a frightening fact that even if she had caught up just now, she might not be able to stop the existence that could not be described in words. Even, he might, die. At least, since she was born 5,000 years ago, she has never seen such a powerful existence. No, maybe there is one. God of War, Ares. That bone spur monster put even more pressure on her than the God of War who confronted her during World War I. Dot dot dot. Deep Sea. The school of fish retreated, howling erupted in the cracks in the sea, and a huge sperm whale was torn apart alive, causing the nearby sea to quickly turn turbid red. Kill them all, destroy them all. The violent and destructive aura stirred in the turbulent and turbulent sea water, and the bony spur monster sank into the deep sea where light could hardly reach, its eyes glowing with red light like an active volcanic crater erupting at any time. No, not right. Doomsday Yi Meng, carrying a small Kryptonian spaceship, struggled and maddened on the face of the monster. I am Doomsday, and I am also a human being. Just now. Obviously there is still a sliver of rationality to maintain the outside world, why does he still want to destroy the fleet and take action, and even enjoy the pleasure of destruction more and more? Even during the process, Yi Meng sincerely felt that human beings are indeed weak like ants, and it makes no difference if one or a nest is trampled to death. But in reality, he is obviously also a human being. This kind of disregard for life, as if looking down on everything from another dimension, will destroy everything. Yi Meng suddenly woke up. It turns out that my personality has been gradually invaded by the doomsday. Even if I am in a sane state, I will still start thinking and acting according to the will of destruction. No, I can't be assimilated by the invasion of the ancient doomsday. I want to control, I am the master of this dream. Doomsday Yi Meng struggled in his heart, and the struggle also caused the waves with a radius of 10,000 meters to surge. Looking at the ever-sinking sea, Yi Meng tried his best to keep himself awake on the day of destruction, and his human thinking was struggling to twitch in the crack of the will to destroy. Why did you jump into the sea yourself? Perhaps, Yi Meng's human consciousness does not want to destroy the Earth civilization, even the current dream world. Another possibility is that the gravity of the Earth is too light, so light that it is a little unaccustomed, and it may jump out of the atmosphere with all its strength. The pressure in sea areas at different depths is different, and every 10 meters you dive is equivalent to an increase in atmospheric pressure. The more you go down, the more pressure you feel. Perhaps only in the deep sea below 10,000 meters, the pressure and resistance can barely make the self of the incarnation of doomsday feel, comfortable. And in the ocean, there are enough large prey that can satisfy the desire for destruction, even though they are too weak to be vulnerable. No, sunshine, he must continue to bask in the sun. Day of destruction Yi Meng felt that his same candlelight would be swallowed up by the endless darkness of destruction at any moment. In the situation of invading and confronting each other with the doom day in the dream, it is like wrestling with each other, and there is no way to relax. Crash. At this time, the distant sea was turbulent. Doomsday Yi Meng's crimson monster glanced back, and saw dozens of slender and smooth long tube metal objects, and the shadow of a ship suspended on the sea from dozens of miles away, slanting towards this place at an extremely fast speed. Edge approaching. Humans are that stupid. Doomsday Yi Meng grinned a cruel and terrifying arc again, and threw the small Kryptonian spaceship in his hand back, pedaling the sea water with his feet so that he rushed forward at a soaring speed. The deep sea water in front of him was between Setsuna all split by the giant body. Instead of being angry, it is better to say that he is right. Yi Meng's thinking is abnormal now, and he suddenly realized that instead of resisting all the time, it is better to try to accept part of the desire to destroy. In this way, it may be better. 
Wait, is this the will of the doomsday invasion, or is it a decision made by his original rationality and humanity? Can't tell. Come on, let's see who destroys who. If anyone can kill him now, Yi Meng also admits, at least maybe he can break free from the current dream. In the dark sea, the gray white bone spur monster first encountered a four meter long metal object at the front foot. Without any intention of avoiding or defending, the bone spur monster grinned grinningly and opened its hands to hug the metal tube that was launched. In the next moment, the long metal tube with its own break stopped abruptly, and then turned into indescribable light and energy with a boom. At the same time, other long tube metal objects followed one after another, bursting out with powerful light and energy respectively, completely submerging the bone spur giant shadow in the center of the attack. Boom. 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 In this Setsuna, the deep sea area within a few kilometers was filled with piercing white light, and bursts of astonishing shock waves swept out and exploded. The heat boiled and evaporated a large amount of seawater in the area, and more seawater was thrown out of the sea by the bombing power, and even rushed to the sea surface hundreds of times, meters up to the sky. A large amount of marine life was directly wiped out. The thunder clouds in the sky were churning, and the waves spread to the coast of the mainland at the far end and the ships that fired the detonators. How's it going? The on-site command module of the aircraft carrier leading a group of ships, the military base that keeps the connection, and even the high-level meetings directly under the national forces are all paying attention to the outcome of the battle. Soldiers, officers, staff, high-ranking MPs. Everyone held their breath nervously at this moment, as if waiting for fate to judge the earth. They're not even thinking about taking it alive now, just, if it kills it, him. The deep sea below the 10,000 meter seabed, huge amounts of submarine rifts. The kingdom of the sea people, Atlantis. The movement caused by the huge explosion in the deep sea even spread to the ancient extraordinary civilization hidden on the seabed, causing the underwater buildings to vibrate slightly. The people on the bottom of the sea were confused, outside, what happened? It must be land people, are they crazy, and they are fighting again. It may also be an explosion test. They always like to throw all unfavorable substances into the ocean. Dot dot dot. Above the sea, along with rumbling thunder, the dark clouds covering the sky are about to rain heavily. The atmosphere was extremely depressing. On the central control cabin of the aircraft carrier, a group of soldiers did not dare to take a breath, staring at the scanner panel and radar screen. The middle-aged and elderly officer also held his breath, his forehead was covered with sweat, and his uniform was already wet with cold sweat. On the other side of the headset, there was an urgent communication question from the land base, Captain, have you killed it? My channel is connected to the high-level meeting hall. We, literally hit it. The commander-in-chief's Adam's apple rolled, and he swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Based on such an explosive tonnage and explosive power, it is comparable to or even surpasses ordinary nuclear weapons. In fact, after a lifetime of fighting in various military maneuvers, the commanding officer did not think that any military target could survive, let alone a living thing. Even if that creature came from an alien. Radar confirmation, no target found. A soldier suddenly reported. I don't have any here either. Not found either. Great. The people in the control room almost huddled together and cheered. Thank God. The commander-in-chief officer muttered to himself, grabbing the microphone with all his strength, and was about to report the news. At this time, a trembling report sounded out of time. I, I have found something on my side. The suspected target is about 20 kilometers away. In an instant, the central control room of the aircraft carrier was dead silent. The radar, is it broken? Someone was terrified, and he was making his final fantasy. Sir, look. A soldier suddenly pointed out the window of the control cockpit in horror. The officer looked over, and what shrank his pupils were two red rays of light in the sea area at the end. The bright red light that symbolized destruction broke through the distant sea and approached here. Sorry. The officer almost couldn't hold the microphone in his hand, and replied bitterly at the corner of his mouth. In the next moment, two thick red energy lasers spanned 20 kilometers, directly pierced through the entire aircraft carrier and then slashed and fired outwards, cutting off countless battleships and fighter planes that took off and fled. The gorgeous flames began to spread across the vast sea. Dot dot dot. 
Listen to the channel with the busy tone over there, and the successive lost contact signals. High Council. Everyone fell into silence collectively, their thinking was strongly impacted, it was difficult to understand and accept the status quo, and fear spread from the heart to reality. Finally, the middle-aged man stood up tremblingly. He put his hands on the table to prevent himself from slumping on the chair. Misters and ladies, at the same time, all over the earth, the countries that also received the battle report also held high-level decision-making meetings. My lords, friends, bros, dot dot dot, most of the high-level executives said bitterly, we have to admit a cruel fact. With our current technological weapons, we can't kill it, and we can't even cause a certain amount of damage to it. If it wants to, in a month, no, in a week, it can rule the planet. If it wants to destroy the world, it may only take a shorter time. It, no, he may decide where the fate of our civilization will go. Dot dot dot. This day is called the day of darkness by the DC Earth world, and the image of the bone spur monster is so strong that it is irresistible, bringing a sign of the end. Also after this day, the investment index of air raid shelters, alien colonization industries, etc. exploded, and a superhero frenzy of who would kill the bone spur monster to save the world was also set off. Definitely, nothing is known about these Yi Meng who incarnated Doomsday. Didn't you guys do it first? At first he just passed by, and later he was only forced to fight back. While destroying the opponent, one must also be prepared to be destroyed by the opponent. At least, Doomsday Yi Meng has thoroughly prepared for this. Dot dot dot. The hinterland of the sea. Two thick red beams of destruction swept across the battleship, and finally turned into three beams, heading up towards the sky, and the golden red rays powerfully broke through the lead thick clouds. It looks like three beams of destruction connecting the bottom of the sea and the sky, even humans on the other side of the continent can see it when they raise their eyes. Below the bottom of the sea, in the center of the vortex torrent that propped up the sea, the bony spur monster was surrounded by crackling lightning of destruction. Its mouth and eyes opened up to the sky spewed out endless rays of destruction, until a ray of sunlight descended from the clouds and shone slightly on the cold gray sky, above the spur. There was a ray of human confusion and joy on its face, and it plunged into the sea suddenly, and a few seconds later, it carried a broken Kryptonian spacecraft and jumped to the farther sky and sea. Dot dot dot. Deep in the sea, an uninhabited island. Suddenly, the island trembled violently, scaring away countless birds and beasts. Boom. The small spaceship was thrown aside casually, and the three-meter-tall bony spur monster sat down on the spot, as if basking in the sun in a daze, breathing out billowing heat waves and strong hurricanes. Click. The Kryptonian spacecraft, which was tossed close to the limit of being scrapped, suddenly opened the hatch automatically, revealing a baby who finally woke up inside. The baby opened its blue eyes, and the bone spur monster also looked over. All of a sudden, the scene of big eyes and small eyes was very weird. Suddenly, the corner of the baby's mouth twitched, and he cried out loudly. You must be hungry. After all, I haven't eaten for more than a day. Even as a future Superman, he's just a baby right now. Day of destruction when Yi Meng thought of this, he suddenly froze again. His thinking suddenly became much smoother, and his desire to destroy also subsided a lot. Is this because I have accepted a part of my desire for destruction and actively vented it out? Or, he began to accept the fact that the avatar in his dream was a doomsday head, and he no longer blindly resisted and began to fit in. Either way. This is all a good thing for Yi Meng. It is to illustrate that the will desire of destruction has the hope of control. It means that he has taken a small step towards the path of Doomsday Superman. Just, where can I find food? Suitable for babies. Yi Meng, who had just been called the new god of the earth and brought the so-called signs of doom to the world, suddenly fell into trouble. In North America, a coastal town port, a lighthouse building where a family of three lived warmly. Boom. Four submarine soldiers wearing cool and advanced technological armor smashed through the lighthouse building and broke into it, and there was a burst of fierce fighting and blasting sounds inside. Soon after, two submarine soldiers each held a special metal chain, and dragged a white-haired young woman in a long skirt out. Thomas, take care of our son Arthur. The silver trident weapon in her hand fell to the ground with a bang, 
and the white-haired young woman watched in grief as the young man holding a baby boy was dragged directly from the house into the sea by two submarine soldiers. Atlana, the young man who was the local tower keeper yelled and rushed out with the baby in his arms. All he saw was the vast ocean, and he fell to his knees. Hush, undercurrents surged, and two submarine soldiers dragged Atlanta through the sea at high speed. Atlanta was heartbroken, feeling that she was going to be taken back to the undersea kingdom of Atlantis again, and sacrificed for the birth of the royal family. But at this time, the sea water in the shallow sea suddenly broke open from top to bottom, and two bone spurs fell, like spearfish, piercing through the elite submarine soldiers with their armor. Yes, too fast too fast. Without any chance to react, the elite soldiers jetting away in the sea water at several times the speed of sound died suddenly. Atlanta raised her eyes in horror, and saw a huge figure falling into the sea, like a fallen and mutated god, throwing away two elite submarine soldiers, her eyes gleaming with red light of destruction. Looking directly at each other, it was as if peeping into the end of the universe, destroying a corner. Thanks for watching, subscribe and support my channel.